All right, this is my second time. This is my second time into my transmission. I made a little bit of mistakes. Uh, one major mistake is I did <clears throat> is this tab right here. You don't get this thing lined up, it's gonna cause you all kinds of problems. Me, I thought I had it lined up, but somewhere in the midst of putting my transmission case back together and moving stuff around, it must have gotten out of line. And what happened is, is it got locked in a position and it would not free spin. And it caused the hub right here to burn, to swell, and it wouldn't even turn. So that is definitely a must. You better make sure that you are and what i do is that i've been looking at this and seeing where's the best place to put it you see this little mark right here line that up with this you'll see this one straight up and you'll see it kind of like when you look straight down through it it'll go right beside that nut and then line your line this groove up straight across make sure that thing's lined up straight across from this here make this like a little timing point and i put a little bit of grease here and i put it a little bit up in this side here to know that i'm make sure that i'm hitting right where it needs to be hitting and it slides right in that groove now i'm hoping that this will will do it and i don't have to pull this thing apart i replaced all the bearings and i had to replace this shift hub and gear and synchro um i replaced like these bearings are replaced all these I replaced everything it needs to replace all the gears and synchros were in good shape besides the one i messed up so you know that's something you want to definitely now there is a little bit of wear on this right here but uh, i can live with that as many miles this thing's got on it i can i mean it's not gonna i'm not gonna worry about it I'll run it, and one of these days, hopefully, I'll be a. Uh, this is on my Integra. I'll do an all-wheel drive swap on it. So, I just figured I'd make this video, and in case somebody's thinking about doing this, it's not that hard. I did take my gear sets apart because when I took my gear sets apart, of course, you know, after this hub locked up, it threw metal everywhere. But I did find, like, inside the gear. The, the actual axle gear set um the shaft i ran a gun cleaning scrubber thing down the y'all seen the stuff that come out of there and it wasn't from just this thing you know mean that did it you could tell that stuff had been in there for a long time and it was just shavings of all kinds of stuff just packed in there so you Think about that when you go to rebuild one of these. Take you a gun cleaner, go down the center of the, the shafts, clean them out real good. The same thing was with this, because what happens is, is there's there's holes in this shaft and it allows fluid to come through and it goes out and keeps everything oiled behind here and it pressures out. So keep that in mind when you're rebuilding something like this. My bearings, they all seem to be good, but I was getting a little bit of sort of like a jerk noise when i'd let out on the clutch and i'd get on it just a little bit just to go and it was like a just a lunge forward from time to time so i would say i had a bad bearing it just had a little bit of play in it so i replaced that and of course you know like i said the hub burned out on me and, and it just swelled and it caused the top bearing i had to swap the top bearing out again because it it was uh it's swollen in there and it locked that bearing up so just keep an eye out that that's that's one thing i run into and like i said that's a you can use that as a timing point to point that straight across to this shifter right there whatever your shifting rod or whatever you want to call it and that right there lines your mark up to about right in there Right on the other side of this main bolt right here. You see this bolt way down here. That's what I'm going off of. It's just right on the other side of that. About right in here is where your tab will be pointing. This phone makes it look a little bit off. But but that's what it, where it's pointing. And you can see, if you look straight down. Let me see if I can't get it. The point, the little nub's right there. And it's straight across from there. So that's what I'm going off of. And I used grease to mark it to make sure it was going in there. And... 
I, hopefully everything works out and I don't have to pull this thing back apart again. So this is my Integra. I drive it back and forth to work because it's easier on gas than my truck is. So I hope this helps everybody. Um, just, you know, before you take this stuff apart, if you have to take your gear sets apart, just take a picture of everything. I'm, I'm giving a look all the way around because a lot of people don't do that when they put it back together. They just one position and that's all you see. But I'm giving you a, like a full walk around of what it looks like when I'm getting ready to put the case back on. So hopefully this does it and I don't have to pull this back apart. I'm using Honda Bond. I think it's what it was that, you know, me. stuff works good. Honda Bond, HT, good stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, so like and subscribe and I'll do an update of how she's running if I have any more problems.